everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Stephanie. Um, today's video is going to be a continuation of my top 10 things for spring and summer. Today's video is going to be my top 10 high-end lipsticks. Now, in no way am I saying that you need high-end lipsticks. I just love lipsticks and could not decide uh, between all my drugstore and all my high-end, which was my favorite 10, so I decided to do a high-end uh, lipstick video and a drugstore lipstick video. I also have a blush video. I'll be linking both the um, drugstore lipstick and the blush video here, here, and down below, so go check those out. And let's get started. So the first lipstick that I'm going to talk about is Pink Pigeon by MAC. Now if you've watched my channel before, you know I'm kind of crazy about MAC and especially their lipsticks. I just love them. This is just a gorgeous, um, vibrant pink. It's very long lasting because it is a matte, but it's also very comfortable, which is one of the things I love about MAC lipsticks. And here is it on my hand and I am also wearing it. So this is Pink Pigeon by MAC. The next lipstick in my top 10 high-end lipsticks for spring and summer is this Bare Minerals lipstick in Fly High. And first off, I just want to say I'm crazy about this packaging. You have to press this little button here, press that down to pop out the tube. Um, so it is practically Liliana proof. And if you don't know who Lily is, um, you can see her in some of my past videos. She is my now two-year-old who has eaten some of my lipsticks and torn up some of my other makeup. This is just a gorgeous, um, almost pinky nude. It does have an undertone of kind of a purple lavender, which I really, really like. I love this for days where I may have like a smoky eye and don't need anything heavy on the lips or um, just those days that I'm just casual and but I just need to throw something on. It does have a really nice mint smell and it feels very good on the lips. This is also my only Bare Minerals lipstick and I do like it so much that I may um, get some more. So this is Bare Minerals in Fly High. So I don't think I could have a top 10 um, high-end lipsticks for spring and summer without talking about this lipstick. And it is Impassioned um, from MAC. It is just a gorgeous, coral that I just think looks good on everyone because it does have a lot of pink in it. I just absolutely love it. It is an Amplified, which is my absolute favorite finish from MAC. Feels very good on the lips. It has great lasting time and it's a little shiny. It's not completely matte. Um, so this is MAC Impassioned lipstick is a YSL lipstick. Now this is definitely one of my higher end lipsticks and I save this for special occasions or you know special nights out. I just absolutely love the packaging on this and it is in 07 and I think it was called Le Fuchsia. Um, it is just a gorgeous fuchsia color. This has amazing feel on the lips. It's almost kind of like a gel like feeling. It's not a heavy lipstick whatsoever. Now, um, this one actually kind of stains your lips and lasts for a very long time, which I really appreciate that. And I absolutely just love this lipstick. The lipstick I'm gonna talk about is this Mineralized MAC Lipstick in Bold Spring. It's just a gorgeous kind of radiant orchid color, very on trend for this season. Um, the mineralized lipsticks are very, very creamy um, and very nice feeling on your lips. Now, they don't last as long as, let's say, a MAC, uh, matte lipstick does, but this, this one I do find kind of stains your lips so the color lasts a little bit longer, but the real benefit of this lipstick is just how nice it feels and how comfortable it feels on the lips. Um, these do have, like, the MAC vanilla smell and I just really love this color and it is in Bold Spring. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is this Urban Decay lipstick in Obsess. Now I just absolutely love their packaging and this is just a gorgeous um, white kind of baby doll pink but it's not too bright. It's very everyday wearable. It is very creamy um, and I do find these last a good time. 
Also, I really love this paired with Love Child lip gloss. I think it is just gorgeous. Um, and it's just a nice, you know, light pink kind of go with every other uh, eyeshadow look that you have going on. Just really, really like this a lot. So this is Obsessed from Urban Decay. This next lipstick is a Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick from MAC. And I just think everyone needs um, a nice red lipstick for summer. And I'm going to be sporting this one. It is just really gorgeous. It is a frost, but it's not like 80s frost. I just think it looks really pretty. Um, it doesn't necessarily, to me, look like you know, a red I would wear like during Christmas, but I just really think it's going to just pop on summer nights. So, uh, Viva Glam Rihanna. Next lipstick is a Buxom lipstick in Swinger, and I just absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it on the Sephora website. It is just a gorgeous, um, radiant orchid type color. It is darker than the MAC Bold Spring. Um, this is very creamy also and feels very nice on the lips. This is my only um, Buxom lipstick and I actually really like this one and want to get others. But this is just a gorgeous color and I just see myself wearing this a lot for this spring and summer. This color is um, also a MAC lipstick and it is a Sheen Supreme in the color Asian Flower. And I apologize, my lips may be getting a little stained up from these colors. But this is a gorgeous, almost... Um, lilac lavender color the sheen supreme kind of wear more like a lip butter than an actual lipstick so you get um, a decent amount of wear but it is very uh, moisturizing it is not as long of wear as a regular lipstick but these feel really really nice and i absolutely love this color let me give you a hand swatch so as you can see, it is really, really creamy. And there was a limited edition color a few years ago um, called Playdate. It was in a regular lipstick, I think an Amplified or maybe a Cream Sheen. This um, is very close to it. So if you're looking for Playdate or if you have Playdate and want to get like a backup, this is not the exact formula of Playdate, but this is very close to the color. Um, so this is MAC Sheen Supreme in Asian Flower. Last color um, is another YSL lipstick, and it is a Rouge Velup lipstick in 31. Now, I absolutely just adore the packaging on these lipsticks. Um, this one is just a beautiful um, kind of pinky coral. It is just beautiful it feels amazing on the lips now I will say these are not as long lasting as a lot of lipsticks um, and even the other YSL lipstick lasts a lot more or longer than this one but it just is so beautiful and it feels so nice on the lips it is one of my favorites I do because these are on the expensive side um, usually only wear um, my YSL lipsticks for special occasions but I absolutely love this and it is in number 31. Sorry guys, I lied. I couldn't just pick 10. I actually have 11. So um, the number 11 and the last one is this gorgeous lip crayon from Bite Beauty. It is what I'm wearing now um, and is in the color grape. Y'all know how I love my purple lips and very very comfortable this is actually the only lipstick uh company that is approved to actually like eat your lipstick if you wanted to not that i would recommend that but just as you are licking your lips throughout the day you get a bunch of lipstick and this is completely safe for you to ingest it i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye